holder of the heathen child. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Enter the elevator, but make sure that you are alone when you do so. When you are in the elevator, take a note of the buttons available to you and remember to count off the floors, for remembering this information will mean the difference between salvation and eternal suffering. Press the button for the highest floor available and wait for the elevator to arrive at its destination. Do not get off the elevator at this floor and make sure no one gets on. You must then wait for the elevator to be called to another floor. If no one is there to enter the elevator when it stops, flee the building as quickly as you can and don't stop running until you have crossed a running body of water, else your body will be ripped from your soul by the unseen. If there is a person entering the elevator, tell the person who enters the elevator, I am here to see the holder of the heathen child. The person will seem confused by your statement. Repeat it. After the second time, a look of withered acceptance will cross the person's face, and they will push a floor button on the elevator keypad. At this time, you must press the button of the first floor you entered the elevator on, and pray that you are allowed to return there. If the elevator stops first upon the floor you selected, this is your last chance to leave. When the elevator arrives at the floor the other person selected, the doors will open and the occupant will get off. The walls of this floor are made of a leathery substance sewn together with human entrails, and a low moaning permeates through a grated metal floor. When you step onto this floor, you will immediately feel grasping hands about your ankles, attempting to pull you to the ground. Do not fall, for they will force you through the grates. The other person will run ahead of you and down the hall. You must catch this person and force them to the ground to feed the grasp, or it will quickly overpower you. At the end of the hall lies a massive door, carved with runes from a language you have never seen. Do not enter this door, for beyond it lies naught but twisted madness. From the center of this door protrudes a head, which at first seems to be a motionless statue. You must knock six times at this door, after which the head will awaken. You will be forced to stare into its gaze as the mouth gapes open, and inside its mouth you will see images of nameless horrors and creatures whose very memory will mutilate worlds. If you survive this, you are allowed to ask one question of the head. Who serves the child? Any other sound from you, and the head will devour you as it did the others. The answer will come swiftly and unbearably painful into your brain, and the face will vomit the bones of a small child. Take these bones and proceed back to the elevator. Outside the doors, you will see many panels of buttons for the elevator. Press only the true button of the floor that you originally entered the elevator on, for any other means death. Enter the elevator. The heathen child you now hold is object 113 of 538. Beware the servant. <laughs>